I tried my best to stay away from this, but I just couldn't. It ate away at me every day that I said nothing, so here I am a few days later with it. The main reason why I didn't want to mess with this, we know how New York Jets star quarterback Aaron Rodgers is. He says a lot of things just to get us football fans going crazy. So when he said he can't wait to play with Las Vegas Raiders superstar receiver Devontae Adams again a few days ago, I thought it was just Rodgers being Rodgers. He could have been golf for all, I know. <laughs> but Adams did say Rodgers has been in his ear about going to the Jets and he wanted no part of it. At least not right now. He could change his mind, but it's also possible Rodgers can become a Raider. The case for Adams going to the Jets is right there in the Netflix special called Receiver. There was a point in the season last year where he was frustrated and tired of how horrible then quarterback Jimmy Garoppolo was playing. I'm paraphrasing here, but he said something like, if I don't get out of here, I'm going to lose my life. He was referring to all the times that Garoppolo's throws led him into hard hits. And when Garoppolo wasn't leading him into hard hits, he either didn't see him wide open for a potential big play or missed him with the throw. I guess that's why he also said on the Netflix show that he signed off on head coach Antonio Pierce benching Garoppolo. And when the Jets came into town to play the Raiders, Adam said he needed that when speaking about the time they spent together the day before the game. He also said something else, and I'm going to paraphrase again here. He said something has to change for the Raiders to succeed and for Adams to remain a Raider. That means he would have wanted out if things didn't change. And what do you think he's going to do if Aiden O'Connell and Gardner Minshew struggle this year? You think he's going to do something different? However, it's also possible for Rodgers to end up with the Raiders. You don't think Adams listened to Rodgers carry on about him going to the Jets without him saying anything about Rodgers joining the Raiders, do you? If you really look at it, Rodgers would be in a similar situation in Las Vegas to the one he's in in New York. The Raiders are loaded. All they need is a great quarterback and their instant Super Bowl contenders. Just like the Jets, they have a hell of a defense. From the time Pierce took over at midseason until the end of the season, the Raiders have the number one defense in the NFL. The Jets have the number three defense over the whole season. The Raiders have the 10th highest rated offensive line in 2023 to 31st for the Jets. Hey, you take both teams without Rodgers and the Raiders beat the Jets last year. The Jets have since made moves to mildly improve the offensive line though. I say both teams have good offensive lines and plenty to put around Rodgers, but the Raiders have one thing the Jets don't. They have Adams. Rodgers and Adams were on a historic run they want to recontinue. How does Rodgers know he's going to play with Adams again? Are the Raiders, Rodgers, and Adams playing chess while the rest of the NFL is playing checkers? Okay, indulge in this with me if you will. At the beginning of this offseason, the Raiders were trying to trade up for one of the quarterbacks. They were going to bring in Cliff Kingsbury to be the offensive coordinator so they can run the air raid and that quarterback could be comfortable in an offense that he ran in college. However, the teams at the top of the draft wanted the quarterback, so Kingsbury went to the Washington Commanders with one of them and the Raiders hired Lou Gessie to be the offensive coordinator. The Raiders know they're not going to the Super Bowl this year unless Aiden O'Connell is beyond what they ever thought he would be. So what if the plan is to give O'Connell a chance this year and make a play for Rodgers next year? He had back-to-back -back NFL MVP seasons with Getze as his quarterback coach and passing game coordinator in 2020 and 2021. It's kind of like what owner Mark Davis tried to do, hiring Josh McDaniels to lure Tom Brady. Unfortunately, that didn't work out, but boy, if they can get Rodgers. Well, what do you know? Rodgers knows he's going to play with Adams again. With what team, though? Hey, I'm a Raider fan that wanted Al Davis to draft him back in 05, so you know I wanted to be the Raiders, but will it be? Adams will have a huge say in this. If O'Connell and Minshew both falter, he can get frustrated and tell the Raiders to send him to New York. Or he can think about guys like Max Crosby and Christian Wilkins and call Rodgers to work on getting him to Vegas. Oh yeah, that's right. He loves Coach Pierce too, so there would be a lot for Adams to think about. Rodgers is a California kid too and there are no state taxes in Nevada. I don't know, what do you guys think? Thank you for watching, see you next time.